Uh, it's an hour away till showtime, and we're feeling pretty relaxed at the moment, which is good. One hope wishes one had more time, but um, everyone's working right up to the final minute, so I couldn't be happier with my team. I'm really nervous. I've never been in a play before. Ready for the show? Feel excited. I used to just listen to music and just probably hang around with the boys because they're more calm than me. <laughs> Are you ready, Jim? <laughs> I'm doing okay at the moment. Ready. Ready! <laughs> I'm just ready to roll. Let's do it. Yeah. Masi is Fijian for tarpa cloth. And Masi is a piece of visual theatre that explores memories. It's a personal story about my parents. My father was Fijian and my mother was English, and so it's to do with the memory of them meeting in New Zealand. And the way I've made this piece is to do with taking objects, like Masi and photographs, and so that's the way I bring the spirit of the Fijian performers and the Fijian men through into the, the piece. I have six of the top Fijian meki dancers here, and I have a Fijian masi maker from the outer island of Vatulele. We are taking Nina on a journey to her past and showing her how her parents first met and you know the little things that her dad did in the village and things like that. I am the voice of the whole show, so I'll be doing most of the calling. And the call is to to introduce what we call Meke, it's, it's a dance. Oh, well, they bring the Vanua, they bring the, they bring the Fijian magic. Their presence on stage is amazing. It's, it's raised a few questions for me, uh, how to be as big as them in a still role, yeah. I've got Paul Keeve, who's a British magic illusionist, who's top man in the world, the only magic illusionist to the Harry Potter films. And he saw Vula, which was my last piece of work in London, and um, I asked him to come collaborate. And so he's done a magical design on the piece where, where he's looking to help us tell the story and using uh, magic in, in different ways to help us make a, quite a magical world. It was very moving, it was amazingly physical, the, the sort of the pace of it, the energy, you know, the, the slow aspect and the speed and just the message, it was beautiful. Like the illusions kind of give it like a different aspect of a way of telling a story as opposed to the normal dialogue. I'm so used to theatre that's just dialogue heavy, so it was lovely to see something that was um, so, so visual. They even managed to put the island dance into it. That's what I was wondering whether they'd actually do because it's, you know, a whole lot of the island dance is usually for a different kind of stage, but they brought it in so perfectly into the theatre. It was great. Yeah, I definitely recommend people coming to see it. It's amazing. It's really, really good. Well. Being Fijian myself, I, you know, found it a quite an eye opener as I'm not quite uh, close with my Fijian side, but, you know, it was good uh, eye opener, sort of, you know, for me, yeah.